Mm, how much fear do you have within you? Does your fear prevent you from accomplishing what you want to accomplish? That was a good question I got asked. We're we talking about that today. So, my, so the question that someone gave to me, let me pull it up here. So they said, how to make the distinction between I'm naturally not into this versus I'm fearful of this, which blocks my interest in it. Relating to relationships, hobby, career choices, etc. Many anxious people seem to struggle with this and regard beneficial things as harmful, unnecessary, right? So, good, really, really good example and uh, a really, really good, good question and uh, something that I had uh, watched, I was watching something uh, yesterday as well and I kind of like tied in, in, into the subject as well. So pretty much when you have fear, fear is one of the easiest, way, easiest ways to control people. As we talked about, as we know about the world and the current situation that's going on in the world, take a look at how fearful people are which controls their actions. They're fearful so they will do whatever they can to stop something that you know they they believe is is the end all you know so fear is the easiest way to sell a product imagine and i've seen this happen imagine if you're watching a news source a news video whatever it is tv and they're making you so scared of maybe what you're doing with your life what you're eating, what you're drinking, um, the <clears throat> environment that, uh, that you live in, whatever. And then you have, well, we have a product for you to sell you. Supplements, drugs, medications, uh, psychiatric help, any sort of number of things. That is why a lot of news stations are vastly funded by the pharmaceutical industry. They make you feel all upset. They think about it. They make you feel all upset and angry and frustrated and anxious and all that sort of stuff then you have a commercial for anti-anxiety medication antidepressant medication it could be like that or they could try to directly sell it to you right there in the video maybe they're talking about something for i've seen this too like if you're drinking really really bad water it's like oh your water is so bad it's disgusting well guess what here's a water filter for you or maybe here's a supplement for you or largely it is it is mostly drugs that they try to sell you because then you become a lifetime consumer of the pharmaceutical industry but fear will motivate you to do those things and to not really think for yourself you're thinking because of fear you have fear within you and you're thinking and your actions depend on on the the fear mindset that you have so then how do you differentiate that versus something that you're truly not interested in? Because if you're, let's say you're pursuing, you want to pursue a certain career path. And hmm, let's say maybe, well, never mind, it doesn't really interest you anymore. Does it not really interest you or are you fearful of it? Think about that. Think about that. Maybe it's something that you really wanted to do and you went to do it and you turn turns out you don't like it anymore but do you not like it because you truly do not like it or you do not like it because the next step makes you go out of your comfort zone we gotta th think about these things because fear as i mentioned is the biggest motivator in your decisions one of the biggest mo motivators in your decisions negative de decision making that is thinking not for yourself but thinking for someone else so <clears throat> We have to try to figure out what that is. When it comes to relationships, as someone mentioned, if you're in a relationship and it's not working out well, do you terminate the relationship? Do you communicate with your partner and you know discuss what's really going on? Or do you continue to try to live with it and work it out? Maybe you're too scared to have that conversation so you just hold it in. Again, fear. Fear is preventing you from achieving your goals and actually communicating with this person. Here was another good example that I heard, money. A lot of people say like they can't pursue something because they need money to do it. I need money for this, I need money for that in order to accomplish something that they need. 
Do you really need need that money in order to do that? Or can you go about starting it today in some way to allow you to accomplish it during that end, end goal? Think about that for a moment. The fear that you have that I don't have any money to do this is preventing you from actually going about doing it. Because you can do it a little bit at a time. You can go and venture onto these paths that you want to without anything. People can go from nothing to a lot of stuff all on their own, all by changing their mindset, all by going towards what they believe. First thing is to get, get rid of that fear, get rid of that doubt. Doubt and fear is what prevents you from accomplishing those goals that you have. So if you can if you can eliminate those, if you can rationalize what's really going on, then you actually be able to much more efficiently figure out what you want to do with your life and actually accomplish those things. Things will come to you when the time is right for you. But that doesn't mean you should stop pursuing something that you're interested in just because you don't have something because what if the way that you get that something that you need is through starting the process of actually going about these interests that you have? Think about that. If you have an interest and you want to start a business or something, but like, well, I need all this money. I need the right people. I need people that can help me. I need all this other stuff. Really? Do you really need all of that stuff or can you start some way right now with what you do have and then maybe it grows and then you you expand? So a lot of people will think of, of the end result and not really think of, you know, what is actually going on that can be started right now. They're thinking of, of the end result. I myself have been have been the same way. It's like, oh well, let's just say, for example, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to start making videos. I don't want to start recording a video about this topic because what's it called? Okay, so let's say you want to start making like videos on online. Like, well, I need a really good camera. I need really good sound. I need all this sort of stuff. I didn't really start out with, with that. I, I spent a little bit of money on a few things, but for the most part, you know, I, I was just using a webcam. I didn't really know much about video editing or, <clears throat> oh no, video editing I did, just the audio, all that sort of stuff. But I started off small, you know, I started off with what I did, didn't know how to do. And then as time progressed, as the years progressed, I was able to tweak it and get better at it. And it's the same thing with like, some of the uh, gaming stuff that I do. As you know, I, I have a gaming channel that I do. And I remember before I even started it, I'm like, I was debating about it. And I was thinking about it and I was just like, I don't want to start the gaming channel until I have A, B, and C and X, Y, and Z goes a certain way. If I had waited for that, I would be waiting forever because I would never be able to accomplish those things. So I just went ahead and did it and things slowly progress to where they are now and things are slowly progressing even more. So it, it takes that, that, that little tiny step. You take one little step, you get another one to, uh, to you, you get another one, another, another one. But it's that fear, it's that doubt that is preventing you from actually accomplishing what you want to accomplish. So that's my biggest thing to say. Just don't let the fear control you. Be yourself, be the best you can be. And just try to figure out what you're really interested in because your interests and things that you're passionate about will come to you and you start off small. You start off small and you grow. A lot of times the growth is exponential as well. So you start off small, it's like this. And then it's, it's like a rocket ship. But of course, there are, there are going to be times where you feel down a little bit, you're going to go up, you do, do, do. Just like stocks, right? Uh, anyway, that's all. You'll take care. I'll catch you later. Bye.